Hey everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something that I kind of just came up with even though I'm pretty sure I probably didn't come up with it like just on my own. I'm sure that other people have made videos very similar to this but I was listening to the Jonas Brothers new album and I just got to thinking that it'd be so much fun to try to pair up books with different songs on that album and I felt like maybe I could turn this into kind of a series with more of the books that I read and also a lot of the music that I listen to because I love music and I love books and why not kind of mash up those two loves of mine together to come up with a video series. So basically I'm calling this book by the album and that just basically means that I am pairing up books to the songs on the album if that makes any sense. I think it'll make more sense once I get into the video. These are all books I've already read before so I will let you know if I really do recommend them or if it's not really a recommendation it's more of just like this book and this song really go well together. So for the song Sucker, I chose the book Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, mainly because I feel like throughout this entire series, Thomas Cresswell is pretty much a sucker for Audrey Rose Wadsworth. He will literally do anything she says, anything she asks, even though he tries to make it seem like he's in control and like he's the one that's like she's lusting over, it's really him lusting over her. Thomas is the one that's following her around like a little puppy dog and he is such a sucker for Audrey Rose. So I feel like that song really embodies his kind of emotions and feelings towards Audrey Rose and I think it's so cute. <laughs> So for cool, I chose a book with a character who is super cool and I love her and I think she's an absolute legend icon, just amazing. And that would be Clearly Dimple and she is the baddest bitch around. Like seriously, I love her. I mean, look at her on the back cover. She is throwing the iced coffee at Rishi and it's so amazingly badass. I love her. Dimple is an icon. She is a legend. She is a goddess. We must all bow down to Dimple and I just love her so much. Like she is the coolest main character I've ever read. She's just so cool. She is so sure of herself, so confident, so straightforward and she really sticks with what she believes in. And I just love that about her and she's definitely Definitely a really cool main character. So for Only Human, I chose the book The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker and I'll put it on the screen right here. And I chose this one mainly because of the lyrics for Only Human. It really feels like the relationship between the two main characters in The Simple Wild. I feel like their chemistry is very strong even though for a lot of the book it's very hate to love and it's they definitely clash heads a lot. It's not like a super intense hate to love romance but it's like in that kind of like middle range of just being enough without being too much and I really love that about that romance and I think that the two main characters definitely have that only human sort of connection between the two of them. So for I Believe, I chose one of my all-time favorite ships that I will literally go down with. I will fight anyone over the ship. It is just, it's everything to me. It's seriously everything. And it's definitely from Clockwork Prince and it's definitely Jem and Tessa. I feel like this song is just like the embodiment of around the 200 page mark. You might know what I'm talking about. And that scene of them and like this very intimate moment, it just like 
really sparked my memory with this song. And I feel like I Believe really embodies that emotion that this scene evokes. I just love Jem and Tessa so much. I am such a Jessa shipper. Like seriously, I love this ship so much. And I Believe is one of my favorite tracks off of this album. So I feel like it definitely really fits together. <laughs> So for used to be I chose one of my favorite books ever and it definitely kind of deals with this sort of they used to be in love and now they're not and now they're kind of going around saying things and doing things and being with people who they said that they didn't really like and just not really being themselves and it's kind of like I really like the cold feet turns into cold weather you just thought you could do better so do better and like that really embodies this book so well. So for that song I chose Annalie in Real Life by Janelle Milanes and I feel like this book really embodies that song. I'm not exactly going to elaborate on how it relates to that song but I think that if you've read this book you kind of already know how it relates and what I'm talking about. I really really love this book. This has the fake dating trope which I really love and I think it's done so well in this book. I definitely feel like this book relates to that song in some sort of way that I won't elaborate on but just know that this is a really good book. Gave it five out of five stars and this is definitely a recommendation. Okay, so for every single time, I feel like this is like a super just obvious answer if you've read this book before. It just, it, this song really embodies one of the, well, a lot of the relationships in this book. And there's so many complex relationships in this book. And that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This song in particular definitely reminds me of Daisy and Billy. And Billy is like kind of the lead of the Six and Daisy is clearly Daisy Jones. And when they kind of come together, it's definitely like a every single time moment like they kind of don't like each other but they also really are drawn towards each other and it's a little forbidden and it's definitely not supposed to happen and these two are definitely like fire and ice so when they get together it's kind of crazy I definitely feel like every single time definitely deals with those like complex relationships whereas this one is like just chalk filled with the complex relationships. Like everyone is in a complex relationship. There's nothing that's easy in this book. It's all definitely hard won or hard lost. And that's why I love it. I love this book. <laughs> So for Don't Throw It Away, I chose the book Grace and the Fever by Zan Romanoff and I feel like this book is just like the perfect book for a Jonas Brothers fan because it deals with boy bands and it's definitely kind of written in a, like a fan fiction kind of style which is really fun and interesting and I love that about this book. It's definitely a total guilty pleasure for me as a fan of the Jonas Brothers and as a fan of like Five Seconds of Summer and One Direction so it's definitely a book that I can really relate to and I feel like Don't Throw It Away really encapsulates the relationship between the main character and her boy band and love interest because it's definitely sort of like that like I said in the last song definitely a complex relationship but it's complex in a different way whereas it's more about like the non-famous girl is in love with this famous guy but she doesn't really know him and there are definite moments where the main character kind of is doubting the relationship and maybe wanting to take a breather from it or wanting to take a break and then there are other times when her love interest kind of wants to do the same thing and they're never really on the same page and I feel like both of them are kind of telling the other one to not throw it away and to not give up on this relationship even though the other is just kind of flip-flopping and it's just just such a cool book. I love it. If you love fan fiction, if you love boy bands, you're gonna love this book. And I definitely feel like it gives me the vibes of Don't Throw It Away. Opposites attracting 
know she's always right. So for Love Her, I kind of wanted to go with a sort of opposite to tract sort of theme. And I feel like I really got it with this one. And it's A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Khmer. And this is obviously a Beauty and the Beast retelling. This is kind of the ultimate opposite to tract love story. So I felt like this definitely fit with Love Her because it talks a lot about opposite to tract and how much like even though they fight, even though they don't always see eye to eye, that they still love each other and I think that that's like perfect for this book and perfect for sort of the theme of it and I just love this book so much. It's one of my all-time favorite fantasies and I think that this definitely puts a spin on that classic Beauty and the Beast tale. So for this book I kind of wanted to choose a book that seemed really happy but also kind of made me sad and I think I kind of like hit the nail right on the head with this one and that one is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli and I love this book. This is definitely kind of a book that you go into thinking it's going to be really happy, really fluffy, but it's a little heart-wrenching I have to say. It's definitely sad. It has its really sad moments. There's a lot of stuff that Simon goes through within this book you know going from like being outed being blackmailed you know having to deal with coming out to his friends and family and kind of dealing with the repercussions of that and while it's definitely a super happy and definitely fluffy book there are also really really sad moments of this one and I feel like even Simon as a character is constantly going through that everyone thinks that I'm happy but really I'm sad on the inside and I'm dealing with all these things that no one knows about and I don't know how to tell everyone and he's definitely struggling with that and I feel like Happy When I'm Sad is like the perfect song for Simon Versus. It just it works so beautifully. <laughs> Okay, so this isn't technically a recommendation. Like, I feel like a lot of these books have been total recommendations. I guess you can kind of count this as one because, I mean, you should probably read the series, but it's totally gonna be Bruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. This series, I have mixed feelings about, as you guys know, because I do have a video talking about this series, so I'll probably link it somewhere, either in the cards or down below, but... I feel like Rune and Rising is absolutely perfect for trust. It definitely sort of embodies the relationship between two certain characters named Alina and the Darkling. And I feel like that song is just like perfect. Like that, you know that you're bad for my health. I feel like the old me when you're around and stuff like that. It's totally Alina and the Darkling. It just, it works so well. And this one, if you've read it, you know what happens in this book. So I feel like this is definitely the one that I chose for a reason. Kind of, you know, going with the theme of trust. I think it just perfectly embodies that song. And their relationship is definitely very much like toxic in a way, but is also kind of fun. Also, I'm not a Darkling stan, but I do love seeing their relationship and how it kind of works even though it's not really a relationship it's just kind of like the way that they are together it's definitely it's not a relationship but you know what i mean if you've read it you know what i mean if you haven't i totally recommend picking up shadow and bone do it before you read six of crows though because you will be highly disappointed um but i feel like if you read shadow and bone first you're gonna like it a lot more So for the song Strangers, I chose A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. And the reason that I chose this is because within the song Strangers, it's kind of the theme of we've known each other forever. I've known you before I even met you sort of thing. And that definitely happens within A Study in Charlotte. I feel like Jamie definitely feels like he's known Charlotte before he even met her. He's come up with this kind of idea of her. And when they meet, it's just like perfect chemistry. Like they just work so well together. 
together and I feel like even Charlotte kind of feels that way as well about the two of them and I feel like it's just natural from the beginning even though they're strangers it's like they've met in a different life and since it is a retelling or kind of a reimagining of Sherlock Holmes it's it definitely feels that way so I feel like strangers really really works well with the study in Charlotte and this is definitely a recommendation if you haven't read this book read it read it right now pick it up the audiobooks are so good pick these books up however you can get them please they're so amazing So for Hesitate, I chose one of the saddest books I've ever read, but also kind of one of the most uplifting books that I've ever read, and that is We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. And I feel like the themes of Hesitate work so well for this book. You know, Hesitate is definitely a lot about like having someone to rely on and having someone to kind of like help you through the really really tough times that isn't going to judge you that is going to be there for you to have kind of like a shoulder to lean on and that's definitely what we are okay is about kind of having you know this friendship and relationship to where despite the distance and time between them they are able to kind of come together and the main character is able to lean on her friend and lean on this relationship that she has with her and like the history that they've had together and work through a lot of the pain of the past which is just really beautiful it's definitely one that i feel really really connected to i can really really relate to this book like hardcore even though i'm not a huge fan of the song hesitate i don't know all the lyrics <laughs> but from like the feeling that i get from listening to hesitate it definitely reminds me of we are okay it was So for Roller Coaster, I wanted to kind of choose the last book of a series that I really, really loved and that kind of put me on a roller coaster of emotions. And that is definitely Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han. This is the last book of the series and it definitely sent me on a roller coaster of emotions, not just this book, but definitely the entire series. I'm definitely a John Ambrose kind of girl, so love John Ambrose. But this whole series is just like such a cool roller coaster ride of emotions. And I think also the line of like, it was fun when we were younger, but now we're older kind of also relates to this book because it does span you know some of their time in high school and they're younger in the first books and a bit older in the last books and also I read this when I was younger and I feel like I might have different emotions towards it now that I'm older but I really love this series it definitely will always hold a really special place in my heart and I cannot wait for the movies if you somehow haven't read the series you definitely should it's just so fluffy so cute and it has that fake dating trope that is super fun. So I totally recommend this series. So for comeback, I chose another one of my favorite books like ever. And that is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. And I feel like comeback is like the perfect song for this book, sort of like, being scared of things having that fear kind of being drawn out from like situations and other people and that definitely relates to this book like high key relates and also sort of like the baby if you come back now I'll come back to you sort of vibe is definitely within this book and I feel like just there's so many parts of comeback that really really work for the themes in this book and like kind of what happens, the plot, the characters, the relationships. And it's definitely a really, really fun book, but it's also, it's like almost semi nostalgic for some reason. I think it might be the setting where it's kind of set, you know, a few years ago. So it kind of feels nostalgic for that time, even though it wasn't that long ago. And I think that's also kind of like sort of the time jumping element as well really feels right for the song comeback. 
and I think the song and the book just really work well together. If you really like the song Come Back, you might really like Again But Better, and this is definitely one that I'm recommending. I think you should totally try it out, and I love it. It's just one of my all-time favorite books now. I rated it four out of five stars. It's just such a cute book, and it definitely gives you warm and fuzzy feelings. All right, so that was my entire video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to do other albums, I definitely have some in mind, and I think it'd be super fun. Even if I did, not only just LPs but also EPs would be super fun as well. So if you're interested in it, let me know in a comment down below. Also let me know if you have any other albums that you'd want me to do. I think it's like such a cool concept. If you guys aren't into it, also let me know. And I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also go ahead and follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my Goodreads. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!